So here we have a dilution problem. And it looks like we have a 12 molar stock solution of hydrochloric acid, and we want to dilute that to make a 1.25 molar solution of the hydrochloric acid. And we also want our final volume to be 2.0 liters. So the first thing we do is we write down our equation, and then we start plugging numbers in. Now remember, any numbers that deal with the stock solution, the strong concentrated solution that we're starting with, goes on the M1V1 side. And any number that deals with the diluted solution, or our final solution, is going to go on the M2V2 side. So we read our problem and start pulling out the information. So plug in your new molarity, or your old molarity, and your new molarity, which is 1.25. And then we don't know the volume of the strong stuff that we're going to dilute. We're probably not going to dilute the entire container, but we're going to pull out a little bit of that 12 molar solution and add water to it to dilute it. We just don't know how much of it. So that's what we're solving for here. We do know that our final volume is going to be 2 liters, so we put that in the V2 spot. And if you do the basic algebra, solve for V1, you realize that we have 0.21 liters of hydrochloric acid that we need to dilute. So basically, we're going to start with this, 0.21 liters. We're going to add enough water to bring the final volume up to 2 liters. So we start with a flask, and we're going to put some water in the flask to begin with, and then we'll add the acid to the water, never the other way around. So we do some basic math here. We know if our final volume is going to be 2 liters, and we're going to add 0.21 liters of hydrochloric acid, the difference is all going to be water. So subtract the final volume, or the uh, acid from the final volume, and you'll end up with 1.79 liters. That's how much water to put in the flask. Then you're going to add your 0.21 liters of hydrochloric acid. So take that out of the stock bottle, and then slowly pour it into the water in, in the flask, and then swirl it to dissolve. And then just make sure that your final volume is exactly 2 liters. If it's not, you may want to top it off and add a little bit more water. 